Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil when we last left off. Um, <laughs> I have no idea because uh, me and the missus have been in lockdown um, because she tested positive for C virus and um, <laughs> I'm still waiting for my test to come back. Should come back uh, today or tomorrow, I think, but it's Sunday, so I don't know. Anyway, um, three days of sleep later. Uh, we were heading outside, I believe. Finally heading outside. Yes. Um, oh man, it, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, been a while. Let's just say that. Uh, Jesus Christ. Right, okay. Let's head outside. Now, um, I have completed this on my Xbox. And... I was not happy because I completed it in just under 12 hours, which I can assure you is utter BS. <clears throat> but it turns out, um, even if you pause this game like that, which I do extensively, because uh, sometimes I have stuff to do. I believe I actually kept my Xbox on overnight because I was downloading uh, something that I'm not going to say. Um. <clears throat> Apparently the clock still ticks, so, hmm, yeah, kind of annoyed about that because I was trying to unlock the gun. Right, anyway, we're going to move like fuck because there's dogs out here. And we're going to go stick that bad boy right in the hole. Oh, hang on, shit. Oof, that was close. Uh, right. Um, okay, I'm trying to think now because I have just had the epiphany that we don't have item boxes. Uh, at least we, they're not connected. This, this is, this, this is bad actually. Um, <sighs> what do we need? Uh, we need the, we, we get the crank in a minute by going out of this place uh right let's let's do that let's go see lisa trevor's humble abode shall we yeah because of course uh we're gonna leave the shotgun where it is which means it actually is gonna be you know where it is right we need to fill with these uh yes what way right that was west though so that dog has to face south i think uh is it south or is it north it has to face right it has to face north that one all right then i remember things about stuff come on yes look at that perfect there we go he's in the right place um so i'm guessing the other one has to uh, face south, I think. Barry? Stay away. Outside the Stay away. Yeah, a bit late for that, Baza. Okay, so strange thing in chains. Got ya. Now, let's try and get this thing looking south. Uh, nope. Nope, we need east, I think. Oh no, I think it's got to be north. Do they both have to look north then? Oh, my brain, my brain. <laughs> I can't think about stuff. Right, that's correct anyway, because they both have to look opposite wait so that one's north is the other one south then no they both look do they really both look the same direction that's not right no that's not right no that is not right they need to be looking away so the red pooch needs to be looking uh, let's see so he's looking dead ahead. He needs to be looking west then. Okay. 
There we go. Got there in the end. Yeah, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, right, okay, so let's go get the Magnum. Now, the Magnum is um, interesting in this game. You can actually miss it. It's skippable. Ah, bollocks. Yeah, I need to not leave it. Now, these crows will actually go for you if you run. So, we're not going to run. We're going to be nice and slow. I think they get a bit angsty if you get too close to them as well. So, we're not going to get close to them. We're going to be good. We're going to tiptoe around them. We need to use the wind quest. Wind quest? Wind crest? Like so. And there are our lovely moon crests. Yes. I like the way they kept these uh, crests in the game. Even if they used them in a different manner. It was still cool. So I think we have to examine these. We do. Right, two projecting lines. Stick you in there. I wish we could kind of do these uh, all at once. I wish we didn't have to activate the buttons and all of them. But there we go. It's in the shape of a cross. Not sure why someone hid a magnum out here in the graveyard either. You know, it probably does explain it, to be honest. This game's pretty good at that. Uh, use. There we go. One of Barry's. Let's have that. A gun has been placed neatly inside. We will certainly take the Silver Serpent. 357. Nice. Now, uh, I might... I might actually... Head back to the mansion. Just because we're starting to fill up on our, our inventory just a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think what we actually need in the mansion, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we get in the item box as well. I mean, there's still three... No, four item boxes that we haven't looked in yet. So, that's going to be interesting. Trouble is, every time we go back, we risk getting chewed by the bloody dogs out here. I would say it might be worth shooting them, but... Uh, I don't know. Probably going to take damage if we shoot them. And that's not a situation I want to be in, to be honest. Hey, Pooch. Ah, uh, he's not yeah, he's not too bad to avoid to be honest. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back. We also still have a key. Uh right. Got ya. Okay. So yeah, we can use that key to actually open that door down there. But... Yeah, it's not really that important, to be honest. We'll, we'll try and remember that when we come back here. Just got to try and remember so many things. It's so off-putting, you know. Um, having all of your items all over the place. It's really strange. I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it in... Um, oh, shotgun shells. Uh, I didn't like it in the OG. Uh, the OG? Uh, Resident Evil S Zero. Uh, I mean, it was kind of convenient just to be able to drop things wherever we needed them. We actually got a lot of herbage, to be honest. What do we actually have in here? We've got acid shells, which is actually pretty bloody nice i'm not gonna not gonna say that's not good uh we've got hang on bullets we're not really gonna fight anything apart from the plant um yeah we'll go with that for now i mean we don't have to worry about hunters uh until we come back anyway uh, hunters aren't they're not that much of a problem 
as long as we're quick. Now, Jimmy did actually mention um, the snakes <laughs> on the uh, outside path here, the ones that poison you. And yeah, oh, you little shit bag. Yeah, they are a pain. Uh, they're definitely a pain. There's a lot of dogs out here as well. And they're just not worth fighting because there is so many. Probably going to get bonked on the head by Lisa Trevor as well, at least once. Especially trying to escape from her uh, little cabin in the woods up here. So let's go have a little look up here. We've got a lot of handgun bullets, but uh, apart from a couple of zombies, handgun bullets aren't really that great. We should get the self-defense gun, which will give us an extra magnum bullet. I'm not really sure, like, the whole point of the self-defense gun, anyway, to be honest. Um, it, it's only a 22 caliber, but it's actually a really powerful gun in this. Um, I believe it will kill just about anything in one hit. That's it, Jill. Nice and slow. We don't want to scare anything around us. Uh, when we come back, there'll be zombies. You know, Lisa Trevor was one of the scariest things in this game when I first played it all those years ago. She's terrifying, man. Uh, and even, like, her whole backstory and all of that. I mean, I believe she was where the... Um, it's been a long time since I've read the logs and things, but I'm pretty sure she's where the, the G-Virus came from on this. Or at least the Nemesis Parasite. It's something like that. Which is why she's so resilient and hard to kill. In fact, yes, I'm sure she's where the Parasite came from. Uh, right. I mean, it's lovely in here, isn't it? It's got that nice, homely kind of feeling to it. There's cobwebs here and... You know, oh, what's in the box? Nothing. Right. Uh, okay then, so that is quite literally a useless box then. Don't even have a save ribbon, I don't think. Oh, uh, no, apparently there is still something to find here. Might be a log, actually. Oh, somebody's come home. Crude bed. Looks like no one used it in a long time. Where? I think there's other stuff to pick up. Right, family picture, of course. Uh, there is a journal left by someone. Uh, Daddy attached first. Mum attached second. Inside, red and slimy. White and hard. Oof. Not true, Mum. Where? Dunno, Dad. Found Mum again. When attached Mummy, she moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mum, where? I miss you. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty sad. Anyway, ready for a headache, Jill? Clunk. Oof. I'm not sure how Jill survives that, to be honest. That looks like it would pretty much screw you fairly hard. All right. Hello, princess. Oh, she looks just menacing, man. Oof. Yeah, she's not, uh... And I think... Oh, hello. There's a map. Yeah, let's take the map. I think I've um, screwed myself over here. We need some space to move. Can we get down here? Might be the best place here, actually, to avoid her. That's if she even will come down here. This is a bit of an experiment. I don't know if she's going to come down here. Come on, love. Come on. There we go. Right. Note to self. No. Okay. So, even... Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I've, I've never, ever managed to get past her without being hit. Uh, I mean, there's obviously a technique to it. We're on red health. Dude, that was savage. I forget, because obviously we're playing it on hard. Um, yeah. 
yeah, that was uh, suboptimal, shall we say. <laughs> uh, well. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, there should be a zombie down there. You right there, buddy? Don't know where he came from. We're not going to ask him. We're just going to keep going. I love this area. You know, I'd love to see... Um, I hate to say remake this game again, but remake Code Veronica. That'd be cool. Oh, okay. Must be a little bit later then. When we get uh, zombies in this graveyard. So it does happen. I mean, the texture work is starting to get a little bit old now, but... It's still got it. It's still got it. Right. Uh, now, this... Oh, Jesus. Right. Uh, how, does, how are we going to survive this? Because we're on dead red. We've got... We can even take a chance back. Yeah, I shouldn't really have played around with Lisa Trevor, to be honest. But it is what it is. Um, let me... Let me think... We do have herbs out here, but there's also... Well, I don't know if there is herbs out here, actually, on this difficulty. Let's have a look. Let's poke our heads out. Have a little gander. Let's have a little bit of a, a how's your father. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. I like the way... Oh, no, there's no herbs there. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Here comes the dog. Here comes the dog. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. We're out of here. Um, now, uh, I think I was saying... Yeah, Jimmy was saying about these, uh, these snakes. And these snakes are actually really rough in this game. I don't think in the OG games I've ever been poisoned by these snakes. But it absolutely happens. In this version, they made them a lot more um, vicious. Which is fine. Which is fine because, um, you know, in the original game, they were basically just there for show. I mean, every now and again, they did make a, a pathetic attempt to bite you, but they never really did anything. Now, am I going to get bit? Oh, no, they didn't actually appear until you come back, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I might not remember correctly. Now, down here, we've got a lot of dogs to deal with, which is potentially really bad. Oh, crows. Oh. Oh. Okay, the crows are the crows are in the sky. Run, run, because they can and will kill us. Now, here we are. No herbs here either. Kiss me, game. Kiss me. Oh God, hello, snakes. Yep. They added extra snakes to this path. Uh, I definitely like to be kissed when I'm getting fucked. And this game is not kissing me right now. Don't blame it. Probably doesn't want to be diseased. Ah, uh, okay. Right. They give you one. Oh, man. Like, usually when you get here, there's quite a few um, herbs. I think it's three. All right, let's check out this save room. See if they give you anything in here at all. Uh, give you a stun battery. You know, ink ribbons. Um, Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll take them, sure. How many? Three. Sweet. That's it. Yep, that's it. And nothing in the box. Oh, you're a harsh mistress game. You're a harsh mistress. 
But we don't need that till later. We don't need that at the moment. Oh, game. Ugh, be gentle with me, game. Be gentle. Right, well, um... Mm, okay. We are going to save it because... I feel like <laughs> that's a good thing to do. Considering we're on dead red health. I'm actually... Why are you transferring data, game? Where are you trans... Can you just, like, save the game and be done with it? This is what happens. There we go. There's our... There's my internet. My internet is fantastic. No. Fuck off. Upload camp. That's fine. Don't give me 750,000 pop-ups, okay? I know. I, I am a peasant with rubbish internet. You don't need to keep rubbing it in my face, okay? I'm very well aware of the fact. Wait. Where's the... Oh, I was going to say, where the fuck's the crank? I'm very well aware of the fact that it's 2021 and we're still on ADSL, okay? You don't have to torture me about it. Uh, right. Not even good ADSL, that's the thing. It's awful. Like, um, really inconsistent connection. Okay, let's put the box in. Oh, the music in this place is awesome as well. Okay, so... Right, we've we've got choices here. Uh, we can go into the billiard room. And we can fight the spider. And we need to get the code for the V-Jolt room because we're definitely going to be using the V-Jolt. Because Mama didn't raise a fool. There should be some good stuff in here as well. Uh, oh, we haven't got the lighter. There's actually a herb in here. Nice. <sighs> okay. Okay. Right, you. Kind of don't want to take any chances with you. We've got a nice big open space here. Now, it doesn't... Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it hurts to laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. I was going to say, it doesn't actually take that many bullets to kill a spider. Um, several things went wrong there. The main thing that went wrong. Oh, we don't have the lighter. <sighs> Shit. Why are we there? I don't have the lighter. So I can't. Um. Can't find out the actual code to the door to the visual room. Um, I mean, I can. It's just uh, going to be a little bit of trial and error. I will have to get up a list of all the codes. Because uh, they are randomized, but there's only so many of them. Okay. Let's get this back. Now that does mean, actually, if I don't have the lighter, then the main purpose of this room is moot. Be okay, so you know what? Let's not kill the spider. Let's just run around and grab the goodies, I guess. Because you should be able to light those candles. And in lighting those candles... What you actually do. Nice try, buddy. Come on. Shoot your shot, dude. Alright, come on. Hopefully we're not poisoned. Move, Jill. Yeah, we're poisoned, aren't we? <laughs> of course we are. Yeah, there you go. They don't actually take many bullets to kill. But they are annoying. Now, there should be... Yes. That's what I wanted. 
first aid box because in that first aid oh right yeah the red book's in here too um we should have um a, a green and a blue in there i think something like that all right that should be green and a blue herb yeah now he's the only poisonous spider in this area i believe right Anything else in here? Wow, there really isn't anything else in here. So some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, and six. Um, okay. Let's make a note of that. But I still think we need the lighter to get the other uh, information but let's have a fiddle shall we create uh, oh my god they've changed <laughs> they've changed my tablet settings hang on I'm gonna pause it okay cool Right, so uh, I've written that down. Um, hmm, I've upgraded and <laughs> started instead of using notepads and whatnot. I, I use my tablet now. You think that would make things easier, but um, well, <laughs> trying to get my tablet to understand that five is meant to be yellow and two is meant to be blue. Uh, yeah, a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Right, so we need what we actually got on us. Not much. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's start exploring. It's interesting. I, I'm trying to think. Is there anything that we actually need to bring back from this place? And apart from the key, I don't think so. Hopefully we'll find some ammo. Oh, no. Let's go. Uh, right, we've got the thing here. Wow, there's like no herbs. There's nothing. Uh, right, we've got the map. The residence is a hole in the wall here. Yeah, we're not going to look through that hole in the wall. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? Never make a deal with Wesker. I'm just saying. Gem reason and bad for those people. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking Why are you yourself? lying? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. There's the Barry we know and love. Maybe he'll rescue some children as well. Right, what have we got here? Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that it uh, that in comparison with the other groups of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The uh, the T virus has drastically morphed the host's anatomy as well as its size. Look at its current state. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will we find anything like it. 
We also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it's rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting, uh, yeah. There's a high possibility that one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting plant 42's rapid growth. Yes, brain is not working at the moment. <clears throat> uh, however, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are, we are sure that it's used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are second, the second mean of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, after doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We also notice that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. Oh, take some effort to read these. Um, oof. Uh, when the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, uh, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way, it does, it's still unknown. May 21, 1988, 1998, Henry Starton. Thanks, Henry. You're one of the good ones. Now, uh, so this is the way down. There's nothing special. Oh, but there is, Jill. Oh, but there is. Uh, I mean, we could actually go and do that now. We could go into the aqua ring. I think there's a zombie in here. Hmm. I could have sworn there was a zombie in here. My bad. There's nothing else in this room, is there? No, okay. That's fine. Well, we're actually on 32 minutes now. Boy, doesn't time fly. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a zombie there now. I kn fucking knew there was a zombie there eventually. Not really sure how or why um, a zombie suddenly appears there, but hey, I don't make the rules. Okay, so let's go back. Now, there's definitely zombies in the other room, but we don't have to fiddle with those rooms. Uh, once we've been in them. We only have to go in them once. It's not like we have to go back for puzzles or items. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to save it because I think we're okay. And we only have a couple of uh, ink ribbons left for this entire area. Although I think there is some more on the table in the main area. Uh, in the main um, uh, common room. I should say. Is it the common room? Well, where all the bugs are, anyway. All the bees. Uh, there should be a magazine, and I think more ink ribbons there, but playing on this difficulty, who who knows, right? So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.